Hi guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to another video and yes, I look a little different because I dyed my hair. Right now it's a little bit closer to like my natural hair color. It's still a little bit more on like the warmer side of the thing. By the way, do you notice that my voice is like lower than usual? This weekend we had our introduction camp from Biomedical Sciences so we partied a lot and I sang really hard so my voice is a little bit dead right now. <laughs> and by the way, in my last video which was my September Fairy Loot unboxing, yes, I said that I was going to do a 2,000 subscriber giveaway video, but ever since that video, a ton of people have unsubscribed to my channel, so I I, I reached 2,000, then I didn't, then I reached 2,000, and then I didn't again. So I, again, need to reach 2,000 because I really want to do that giveaway, but when I don't have 2,000 subscribers and it's like a 2K subscriber giveaway, it kind of looks weird, I think. But that's not what you all are here for today. Today I'm going to do my September wrap-up and my October TBR. I filled miserably with my TBR for September because... I just started university and like it's so different from high school so I really need to get used to going to uni, going to lectures, going to work groups, living on my own, traveling every single weekend. Um, and my plan was to read one book every single week. I read one book during the month of September. And that book was The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue by Mackenzie Lee. And I even was like, I don't know, maybe like one third or, or like halfway through the book <laughs> at the end of August. And I read half of the book in September. That's how little I read in September. It really sucks, but it was just so busy and I did so many fun things, also not so fun things. But this is a really, really popular historical fiction YA book of this guy called Monty and he's going on this really great adventure with his best friend Percy who is like secretly in love with. He is bisexual and his sister is coming along on the way with him and like his general plan to travel Europe is like thrown out of the window because of spectacular things that are happening. This book is so popular right now and people love this one so much so I had really high hopes and I was a little bit disappointed. I would definitely give like the first 100 pages a four to four and a half out of five stars but after that I feel like the story was dragged out just a little bit. I really liked Mackenzie Lee's writing style so that's not really why it sort of disappointed me but it was just it could have been so much shorter and this book was like 500 pages and it was fun but I feel like it would have been better if it was just a little bit shorter. I think I would personally give this one like a three and a half out of five stars because I feel like if I had more time and more willpower to read this I would have loved it even 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 more. It was just so much fun traveling around with Monty and Percy and like I said Mackenzie Lee's writing style. I love the friendship. I love the traveling aspect of this book but it was just it was just not what I was expecting a little bit. I feel like this is the most hyped book of 2017 right now and for me it's not worth the hype but it is a lot of fun. I just have really mixed feelings about this. Yeah, that was the only book that I read in September. So right now let's go on to my October TBR, which is probably way too ambitious still. But this time I'm really, really, really gonna try to read more than one book. The book that I'm currently reading, I have in my fairy loot pouch because I always take this with me when I, I'm on the train to Utrecht where I study. And my current read is Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows by J.K. Rowling. And as you can see, I have read a little chunk of it. I'm like I think one fourth of the way through and I am putting my beautiful nerdy post in the Harry Potter inspired bookmark in it. I love it so much. I mean I've been telling myself to finish this series for over one and a half years right now since I read Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince and I'm finally doing it. I'm really proud of myself and today I still really 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 need to read. After I finish this I definitely want to, to pick up this book and that is Harry Potter and the Cursed Child parts one and two based on an original news story by J.K. Rowling, John Tiffany, and Jack Thorne. This is the screenplay. You all know this. You all probably have read this book. I bought this in America last year. This book has like a special meaning to me. I still have like the receipt of it in it too. I know that a lot of people really don't like this story and I just want to read it for myself. I still think it's so unfortunate that it's not a real book, that it's a screenplay but I think that a lot of people feel the same way about it. So yeah we'll see what I think of it and I, I mean I need to read it because so many people have read it over the past one and a half years and I'm still one of those people who haven't. Plus I think that because it's a screenplay I would be able to get through this a lot quicker because okay there went my receipt because it looks it's just like a lot less filled up. Those two books are fantasy and if I feel like reading contemporary I'm gonna definitely pick up one of Colleen Hoover's books that I still have. I have Slammed by Her or Confess and Colleen Hoover as 
the majority of you will probably know is a new adult author who writes romance novels and sometimes I like a romance novel because they're there's a big lack of romance in my personal life, so I need to get that out of books. And Colleen Hoover always makes you want to read just the book in one sitting. Like, her writing style is so easy and fluffy to get through, even though sometimes her stories aren't that fluffy, because most of them have, like, some sort of, like, heart-hitting subject through them as well. It has been about exactly a year since I read one of her other books. I read It Ends With Us with Karis from Karis on Reading back then and I really enjoyed that book and I just want to read another Kali Hoover book so badly. And last but not least because it is October Halloween is coming and I want to read something a little bit more in like the atmosphere of Halloween and that is A Study in Charlotte by Brittany Cavallero. Also I am a huge Sherlock fan and this is like a Descendants of Sherlock it's not a retelling, but book. I've just been so obsessed with Sherlock again ever since this summer when I rewatched the whole four seasons again with my dad and I really, really, really want to get to this book. I've heard great things about it and I'm just really curious to see what I'm gonna think of it. It is the first book in a trilogy, so can't wait to start another one. Those were the six books that I mentioned in my September wrap-up and October TBR. I definitely hope that October is gonna be a better month for me even though I'm already doubting it. <laughs> but let's pray to the gods that I will be able to read at least two books this month. Oh my god, it's so bad. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos. And when I finally hit 2k subscribers, I will do the giveaway. So keep an eye out for that. If you guys also want to follow me on my different social media pages, you can follow me on Goodreads, where you can keep up with what I'm currently reading and what I have read, <laughs> which is not... I just haven't been as active on Goodreads lately for obvious reasons. I also also have a bookstagram, Sabine's Book Nook, my personal Instagram, Snapchat, and an email address. If you guys want to send me an email, you can see that in the description down below as well as all of my other social media pages. Again, thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!